Welcome back to Film Buff Bros. And in this episode, we're going to chat about our favorite cop movie. Specifically, movies that star, uh, not, not star a cop, the, the, the protagonist, the lead character is a cop. Alright, so I guess other than Bad Lieutenant, you're not doing Bad Lieutenant, I'm not do, doing Bad Lieutenant. We've chatted about it before and that's probably my favorite cop movie. But other than that, another Harvey Keitel movie, Cop Land, starring Sylvester Stallone. And it has a all-star cast, super, like, you got the, the guy from Terminator 2 and X-Files, Stallone, Keitel, Michael Rappaport, and a bunch of other guys who I think have been in, like, Sopranos and other, like, um, mob boss kind of movies, and uh, something Pepper, Barry Pepper, I think, is in it. Um, I think, maybe it's not him, but yeah, a lo lot of recognizable faces. Ray Liotta, man, great cast. And a unique performance from Stallone. He's very, like, you know, humble, meager, kind of defeated. Um, oh, yeah, and De Niro as well. De Niro, like, man, yeah, crazy all-star cast. But, yeah, cool, unique performance from Stallone. Not the, his usual, like, tough guy role. Um, economic and apropos score. It's light um, and dramatic. Um, I like it quite a bit. Uh, polished cinematography. I don't know if it's 90s. I think it's 90s, um, late 90s. But smooth camera movement, um, well lit, um, realistically lit. And the plot is well balanced uh, in the complexity and sim um, simplicity. Like it is, there's some flashback stuff and, you know, um, nefarious things that uh, the, the antagonist Harvey Keitel has done in his, like, you know, um, corrupt cops. So there's a bit of complexity to the story, but not so much that it's not um, easily comprehensible. Uh, and I really like the theme of morality um, with the good cops versus bad cops thing going on. Mm, yeah, uh, it's cool. I, I also really enjoy that movie too. And for to have Keitel and De Niro in a movie where Stallone actually, I, like, I agree with you, Stallone and Leota are fantastic in this movie. Leota's Lio, great too. He's just like this desperate, sweaty, schemy guy. And yeah, so uh, fantastic movie from beginning to end. I really enjoyed that movie. Refreshing uh, take on the cop genre. Uh, for me, I'm going with Cop from 1998 with James Woods. I saw it for the first time probably like three or four years ago when I was going through like all the James Woods movies we watched. Remember The Boost and oh, yeah. did all these independent movies in the 80s. Uh, it's like a neo-noir um, with the jazzy kind of score and, and shadows and stuff in it. Uh, and it's based off a novel by James Elroy, who also did Black Dahlia. And the director of this movie, Cop, also did Black Dahlia as well. And he actually produced a whole bunch of uh, Kubrick's early films, oh, like really? The Killing and uh, Lolita and um, a couple more, James B. Harris. But James Woods, like he's such a believable actor. Um, apparently he's got a super high IQ as well. But he's just got a lot of charisma. He makes interesting, risky kind of choices as an actor. And then he also has like humor. As intense as he is, like one of the most intense actors when he gets into it. But he's also got this great sense of humor throughout the all his films. Um, yeah, it's basically about a crime-ridden, under-policed uh, Los Angeles. I like that 50% of it is about like the plot of the serial killer and stuff, which is typical. But it's also half this character study on this cop who's like family is moving away from him and all this stuff and he's stressed out and it's like every time the phone rings in a movie he just you know he, he's just this guy's just on edge right um yeah pacing's on par cinematography solid nothing nothing crazy great uh, character acting by uh, charles durning who's always a great character actor and the captain the guy who plays him as well fantastic um yeah just it's just highly recommend cop 1998 it's one of those un underrated um cop movies uh yeah yeah, I think it's quite um, the, the plot and like the subject matter is um, realistic and, and risque and it's pretty like gritty um, 80s cop movie. And it's like kind of similar to um, um, what's the, the hard way, but without the comedy, you know, it's like because he has his like problems with his love life because of being a cop. Um, and he's hunting down a serial killer, but you know, no Michael J. Fox and, you know, no real like comedic moments like in that movie. But yeah, if you, if you like the hard way, you like James Wood and you like cop movies, definitely worth a watch for definitely. sure. Absolutely. All right. That, that's our episode for this week. Tune in next week for another episode. Same time, same place. Click down below to subscribe so you can get all of our awesome content. 5-0.